cooperation with NIU of our next honorary member is long overdue. <coughs> She's the chair of the Social Studies Program Department of Rochelle Township High School and the faculty advisor of the International Club. She brings uh, Rochelle High School students different Northern Illinois sites for field visits, Hindu temples, mosques, Chinatown, German restaurants, and more. Since at least the mid-1990s, she's been organizing different international activities at Rochelle. I remember her inviting NIU international students through Judy Lamb's outreach office of the Center for Southeast Asian Studies to give lectures on Southeast Asian history and culture and demo on Southeast Asian culture, attire, and traditions. Her students also interacted with Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriot students when the International Trading Office conducted two bicommunal Cyprus program in 19, uh, 2006 with Dr. Rick Oren and 210 with Dr. J.D. Bowers. Also, she regularly organizes an annual international intercontinental Asian cooking demo dinner during which NI students show diverse Rochelle faculty, students, and staff how to cook and eat international dishes, including, among others, African, European, Middle Eastern, East Asian, South Asian, and Southeast Asian savory meat and vegetarian dishes, and of course, dessert. Since the first year of the first Indian leadership program of NIU's International Training mm -hmm. Office under the Division of International Programs, uh, during the academic year 2003-2004. She has, without fail, welcomed indigenous, Muslim, and Christian students from the southern Philippines where war is raging to spend one whole day with the Rochelle International Club, interacting with Rochelle students, faculty, and staff through games, school tour, sit-in classes, and refreshments, sharing a common interest in peace and world peace we start the visit with a group photo of the Peace Pole, and in some years, of the Peace Door. In some years, too, Mexican-American students uh, who are members of the Ballet Folklorico perform some traditional Mexican dances, while Muslim, indigenous, and Christian Filipino students perform dances from the Southern Philippines. In some of the years, diverse U.S. and Filipino students dance off to hip hop moves. She also do her best to make sure that a visit of the Filipino students to Rochelle coincides with their agricultural day, during which we meet farmers and see tractors and touch farm animals. The school superintendent, Mr. Jamie Craven, and the school principal, Mr. Travis McGuire, also greet and spend some time with the group. The NIU and Rochelle groups have an international lunch together breaking bread together in Rockford, after which they visit the Rockford Buddhist Temple and the Rockford Mosque together. She proactively arranges the trip one year ahead of time in order to pin down the day, date, and time of our visit. The group also visits the Keeling Peace Plaza in Rockford with the Rochelle Township High School students. For next year's Philippine Youth Leadership Program, of 2013. She's arranging for the Rochelle and Filipino students to interact with Muslim students at the Rockford Mosque School. Ladies and gentlemen, with honor, the Zeta Gamma chapter of Phi Beta Delta Honor Society for International Scholars proudly inducts Mrs. White. because students that grow up in a rural area, as some of you might know, know very little about the outside world. With Facebook and things like that, they're getting to know more, but on a personal level, they really don't know very much. 
So when Ray T and I decided to get together and do some of these things, the students at the school were kind of shocked. It's like, oh, there's people here that aren't quite like us, and things like that. And now it's become such a normal thing that it's been, it's been a real good idea to have them come and to have us um, be a part of it. Um, from cooking and conversation to Filipino Day, it's uh, highly anticipated at our school. We now have students that are in many places in the world, teaching in South Korea, living in Singapore. And I really think that the beginning of international studies has had something to do with it. Um, I think that what we have to recognize is that if students take one step outside their front door, not just literally, but figuratively, that it gets them on the road to international, an international outlook. And for this, we are very grateful to NIU for the connection that we have. Thank you. <coughs>